Hey, what's up my fellow twisters? Welcome back to another episode of our Let's Build series where I try to create my very own redstone bunker as best as I can imagine. This is going to be the final episode where we build out the bottom area. It's going to have a huge underground forest as well as areas for farming and animals and a lot more. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, I did follow your guys' advice and get world edits. I know it is the final episode and it's kind of late, but it's going to help us expand the area at the bottom and make it a lot easier for me and hopefully we can get a lot done in this video. Now, what I'm gonna do is basically expand that area over there, add in obsidian walls to all of the different sections of the building because this is going to be our most protected area where all our food is located and also I'm gonna create a nice floor and add in some forest trees and all that cool stuff. So let's go ahead and just get into it guys. Uh, what I wanna do first is basically extend this wall on this side or the area of the wall and I'm gonna just go back as far as I think is good. So I think maybe going back all the way over here is okay. So let's go ahead and use our world edit tool to select the area. Come back down here and then we could easily remove all of this dirt. I have no idea why I didn't do this earlier, but here we go. Let's go ahead and now set air and bam, check out this huge gigantic area. I mean, you can't even see anything down here. It's so freaking dark, but um, Bam, there we go. That's going to be our gigantic underground area where our forest, casual forest underground is going to be. Now, I know a lot of you say I should use night vision, but I do want to remind you that night vision does not work with shaders, which is what I'm using. So let's just uh, go ahead and do that. There we go. So over here now, I'm going to try to add in a layer of water beneath all of our grass. That way the grass grows and it looks like a nice outdoor environment. So let, let's yet again quickly do this using water edit just go down to the ground below fly around to this side and now i should uh just replace this block over here then i set water and bam there's now a layer of water under all of our blocks and that should allow our grass to grow as well as having a lot of light so the next thing I want to do is finish up the balcony area. So let's go ahead and do that. First things first, I want to create a wall of wooden planks on this side to cover up our obsidian. And then I'll add in the pattern a bit later. But there we go. That's our wall of wooden planks. On this side, I want to add in logs so we can make the pattern look a bit interesting. So let's go ahead and do that by selecting the area and then placing down our log. There we go. Bam. Looks pretty nice. And now we need to add in this section as well. So let's go ahead and do that all the way to the top then place down our log and yeah it looks pretty nice we can do it over here as well and bam okay so now what i would need to do is just add in these uh, railings and stuff and i have to do that manually i can't use world edit so i'll do that and i'll be right back and i'll show you guys um you know how it looks when i'm done so there we go, I finished the balcony. Now let's go ahead and add in a huge gigantic redstone wall to this side. As you can see, I dug out an area and now we can go ahead and add in the wall itself. Now I'm not sure what texture I'm gonna put the wall, but I'm thinking maybe the logs, that way the logs blends in with that side of the map. So let's just go ahead and do that. We will set down some logs over there and see how it looks. Let's just uh, try it out again, there we go and you know what? That doesn't look that bad. And what I want to do is just add in as many rows of lighting that I can. So let's just, um, you know, do that using world edit. So I'm going to maybe do a two uh, tall row of our redstone lamps. So let's just select this block, go all the way down to the bottom, uh, to the other side, and then uh, select this one. Do set redstone lamp. And whoop, I misspelled that. Let's try it out again. And there we go. So now we have like a row of redstone lamps over there. And I'm going to basically do that until we get all the way to the top section. So there is our gigantic wall filled with endless amounts of redstone lamps. Now let's go ahead and try to connect this all up with redstone. It's going to be a challenge, but with world edit, it should be a bit easier. What I want to do is basically have a row of blocks right over there. And then on top of those blocks, I want to have a torch and then another block that way it powers that redstone lamp. And then we can go ahead and invert those torches in order to make a light switch, which is going to be pretty interesting to say the least of course i need to you know take some time to do this on my own i can't really commentate the entire process but i'll do it i'll be right back and i'll show you guys what i ended up with Okay, so there is step one. We placed down a lot of blocks and a lot of redstone torches. Now it is time for the repeaters. 
Okay, step number two is completed. We placed down all of our repeaters and redstone. I did a bit of copy and pasting and it was super easy, so I really should have been using this a lot sooner. Okay, so I finished up all of the redstone for my wall. Now let's go ahead and test this out. I'm just gonna flick my lever and bam, there we go. We now have a bunch of awesome redstone lighting that's going to possibly make this place a bit less dark, but we may need to add in more lighting to the room roof but for now let's go ahead and now try to decorate these walls surrounding the area now for this wall i want to add in some obsidian as well as a texture and then in front of that i want to add in some jungle trees so let's go ahead and start doing this uh, first things first i want to go ahead and select this area and then in this area i want to add in our obsidian so there we go set obsidian and that should give us some protection on this ground floor then right in front of it i want to add in my wall now before we do that i want to grow my jungle trees that way it's like inside the wall like halfway in the wall if you guys know what i mean so let's just do that go to our um get our jungle wood saplings and then grab ourselves some bone meal there we go and now we can start growing this so hopefully it grows all the way to the top and it doesn't make too big of a mess so let's just place down four over there four right over here and another four on this end and um yeah so let's go ahead and hope for the best here and place down a torch i am really trying to grow this and it looks like it is not happening maybe because we don't have any sunlight but I could quickly fix that. Let's just go all the way to the top and just dig out a gigantic area and then bring some sunlight down to this and then we cover back up later. So there is the spot that we need, bam. And we're just going to make a gigantic skylight right now. All right, let's just uh, cut this section out. There we go and give us light. Let there be light and there we go, awesome. And now we can uh, add in our trees. Let's bone meal that, please grow. I am bone mealing it as much as I can and it's still not growing, I'm not sure why. Do we need water? I think, no, there's water right below the map. Um, hmm, that's a bit weird. Okay, so I'm gonna try to grow this above ground and see if it works because I'm not sure why it wouldn't. I mean, we have enough space down there for sure and wow, look at that, that's definitely enough space. That is so freaking short. So I, I'm not sure why this is not growing. I'm really, really trying there. As you can see, it happened so fast, but for some reason, below a certain block limit, it does not work. Man, that I really wanted jungle trees down here. You know what? Let's just try getting some spruce wood or maybe some uh, oak uh, saplings over here. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, oak wood, uh, let's try that. And yeah, that, that one grows. Okay, let's just uh, grow a bunch of these oak trees instead of, uh, you know, the gigantic jungle trees, which for some reason does not grow. All right, so I added in an entire layer of stone brick behind our trees. I think it looks pretty interesting and not that bad. So let's just do the same on the other side. I want to choose maybe this block at the top and then this one all the way at the bottom. Set our stone brick and then maybe cover this wall with some oak trees as well. It might look pretty interesting and then in the middle we could have a gigantic area with animals as well as other decorations. All right, so there we go. Our oak trees are now on the wall. Now what I want to do is do a bit of terraforming and make this place look a bit more natural even though it is underground. Okay, so there we go. I did a bit of terraforming. I also had to turn off my shaders because I removed a lot of the torches and without the torches, it is extremely dark for me. But uh, yeah, there you go. That is a bit of terraforming. I added in two different lakes as well as a lot of grass and I also built up the corners to make some hills and it's uh, pretty simple self-explanatory stuff. Not too bad. And the last thing I think we need to do down here is add in some animals and I was going to add in a bridge, but I really, I really really don't think that we need that it's just really pointless so let's just go ahead and grab ourselves some mobs so i'm gonna i'm gonna add in some sheep down here as well as pig and cows you can always come down here and use the wheat from your farms to breed them and i think that is about it i don't really need anything else down here so let's just spawn down some piggies there we go they could be wild and free they don't need to be inside any area and also we can spawn down some sheep to eat some of our grass and finally, we need cows, of course. So let's spawn down those cows. Bam. And then we could uh, maybe spawn them down on this side. 
The next thing I want to do is add in our roof as well as our waterfall. For the roof, I think I might just add in clay. It's really the best looking thing. So yeah, there we go. It matches with the stone as well as the quartz as we transition into this awesome underground environment. As well as I do want to add in a layer of obsidian that's going to protect the underground base over here. So let's just go ahead and do that. Select the area on top. Come around here and do the same as well. I just need to punch out some of these blocks. There we go. And then we can set our obsidian. There we go. And bam, we now have an extra layer of protection. And I'm going to add in maybe the waterfalls over here. That way it falls down into our lake or something like that. And um, we do need to block up this area as well. So let's just quickly do that. And I really love World Edit right now because it's so freaking easy. And I think I'm going to add in quartz. That way, yet again, it transitions into that area. And does it doesn't look that bad. I don't think so, does it? Huh. I don't know, it looks pretty interesting to say the least. All right guys, so I changed my mind. I decided to add a lot of quartz to this area. I replaced all of the previous clay to quartz as well as I brought down the roof by two using more quartz blocks. I filled out the area next to our vault using quartz as well as I added in a button that allows us to open and close the door. Very simple and we could just hit the button again to open it, hit this button to close it and then hit the button to open it again. Now inside this room, we're not going to to have anything because I really have no idea what we would put in here as well as you could just download the map and add in whatever you like I mean besides chests for storage I really don't know yet again what we would put in here but basically what I did for the door switch was add in a T flip-flop that has two redstone inputs that easily allows us to turn the door on and off all right so now let's go ahead and fill that back up and take a look at what else we have to do now besides adding in some lighting to the roof I don't think we need to do anything else and I might not even do the lighting in the roof because as you can see it is pretty lit you know I'm using shaders and if you guys aren't using shaders you can see that uh, you know the area is already very okay so anyways guys that is basically going to wrap up the final episode of our let's build series before you go I do have a few important things I want to say first and foremost I want to apologize for the really short and crappy video it's really an awful way to end the series and I've been trying a lot today to record this video but it's been two hours and I've gotten at least five minutes of, of good footage and even now in the outro I am messing up so much I'm really frustrated and I just feel awful because I did not make a good video for you guys and you know I hope you at least enjoyed it a bit because I do need to post this on Saturday in order to get the showcase out on Sunday and on Sunday I will show you guys the entire map I will release the entire download so hopefully that is good news for some of you. But yet again, I really do apologize. I wish I ended the series on a higher note. But on the bright side, we did create one of the greatest redstone maps and if not, the best redstone bunker to ever be seen in Minecraft. Now, last thing I do want to say guys is that if you built this bunker along with me or if you just download my map on Sunday and you modify it, I would love, absolutely love to see it and possibly showcase it on my channel and share it with everyone else because it'll just be really cool to see if you guys did that. I mean, I assume some of you just watched this for entertainment, not really to builds you know the exact same thing but yeah guys i really hope you enjoyed the series i hope you enjoyed the video a bit as well as i hope you will enjoy the map that i include in the download there's still a lot of little tweaks i need to add to it so yeah anyways guys this was twist and i'll see you later